Noah Donahue was an intelligent lad who lived with his mother in Belfast, Ireland. He focused on academic studies, had a close relationship with his mom, and was well-liked. For the most part, life was good for Noah. On June 21st, 2020, around 5.41 p.m., Noah grabbed his backpack and left his house on his bike to meet with two friends. His mother had instructed him to call when he arrived. Sadly, she never received that call. His mother reported there were 180 CC cameras along the route Noah would have taken. According to the police, only 22 of those cameras had footage of Noah. Belfast is known for tensions that arise between the Protestant and the Catholic communities. Due to this, there are many CC cameras throughout the city. It seems odd that only 22 out of 180 cameras were able to capture Noah on his route to his friends. A woman came forward stating that she was with four men who may have been involved in Noah's disappearance. The police went to her hostel to question her and found her sleeping. While there, they also found Noah's laptop, which had been in his backpack when he left his home. The police failed to arrest her or question one of the four men who also lived in the same hostel. They later arrested a man named Daryl Hall, who was with the lady when she tried to sell Noah's laptop prior to the police coming to the hostel. He was arrested for theft only. Paul had a violent history and many run-ins with the police prior to his arrest. It is also noted that there was one CC camera that shows the lady and Daryl Paul watching Noah as he rode his bicycle past the hostel the night he disappeared. It was reported that Noah's backpack and his books were found in the residence of Mr. Paul. There was no forensic investigation of Mr. Paul's residence to see if Noah had been present in his home. The police initially tried to say that Noah had fallen from his bike, hit his head, and climbed into a storm drain on his own. They were adamant there was no foul play in his disappearance. There are just too many unanswered questions regarding Noah's death. N Noah was seen running naked down a street and darting behind a house. The storage drain where Noah was found six days later was behind that row of houses. How did Noah end up in that drain? Witnesses have said there were two big men watching Noah as he ran frantically down that street. Who were these men? Were they responsible for Noah being naked? Were they in the white car that rounded the corner the same time Noah did? The police believed Noah climbed over a barbed wire fence naked and purposely went into the unlocked storm drain. Noah's mom does not believe this. Witnesses have said they heard screaming that night. The police investigation isn't adding up to the CC cameras and the witness statements. There were missed opportunities to gather evidence from the woman and the man who had Noah's backpack. No forensics were done on any of Noah's found belongings, including his clothing. There is also a witness who was in prison with a man who confessed to being part of Noah's murder. The police have failed to question either of these men. The autopsy report shows Noah drowned in the drain. Experts have been hired to obtain a water sample report to determine if he drowned in the drain or from another water source. There are questions around the condition of Noah's body after being in the drain for six days. His body wasn't in the condition you would expect a body to be after being in water for six days as the police had reported. Oddly, his hands and feet were the only areas of his body that appeared to have been in water. Again, things aren't adding up. This is a heartbreaking story of a young lad's life taken from him, a mother's determination to find answers, and many mistakes by the police. 
Let's bring justice for Noah and his mom. Someone must know something. If you do, please come forward by contacting KRW Law in Belfast, the firm who represents his family. They can be reached at 4428 